And breaking right now at 6, Russia launching a full-scale attack on Ukraine. The invasion unlike anything seen in Europe since World War II. Several cities have already been bombarded and Kremlin forces have taken control of Chernobyl. And dozens of people have been killed, close to 200 more injured. Refugees are now in a race against time to escape the country in chaos. President Biden vowing Vladimir Putin will pay. Putin chose this war, and now he and his country will bear the consequences. We have live team coverage from Washington to the war zone. Local 10's Janine Stanwood leads us off tonight from the newsroom. Right now, Russian troops attacking from the north, south, and east. We have seen images of Ukrainians huddling for safety and ducking for cover. The U.S. believes that Russia has launched more than 160 missiles as Ukraine's president tells his people to prepare to fight. Russian troops sending explosions and bombs ripping through Ukraine as troops move in from the east. This map shows where attacks and blasts have been reported in dozens of other cities. This terrifying video shows people ducking for cover as a CNN crew finds themselves near Russian troops. Residents in Kyiv in disbelief as shells were dropped in a busy residential suburb. Soldiers seen gathering shrapnel and new video of hundreds of Ukrainians taking shelter in a subway station to avoid the bombs and artillery strikes. Russian President Vladimir Putin claiming his plan without evidence was the quote demilitarization and denazification of Ukraine aimed at military infrastructure. Officials in Ukraine say dozens of people have been killed and dozens injured. The death toll expected to climb. This video shows Russian troops attacking an airport near Ukraine's capital. Russian forces have reportedly seized the Chernobyl exclusion zone, including the nuclear power plant itself, the site of the 1986 disaster. President Putin also... In a statement, Ukraine's President Zelensky urging his citizens not to panic, adding, quote, we will defeat everyone because we are Ukraine. We want to take you to live pictures right now. Dozens of people once again have been killed, close to 200 more injured. We can tell you it's about 1 o'clock in the morning right now in the capital of Kyiv. Neighboring countries in Central Europe are bracing for an influx of refugees who are fleeing the fighting and the bombing. Ukraine's president has now ordered men of fighting age and reservists to join the defense. 